The technical challenge of Swarm application does not rely anymore on the control of a single robot, but on the efficient management of the whole swarm. The human operators should be able to monitor, control, and maintain safety during swarm operation in an easy way. This can happen only if the ground control interface is tailored to meet these objectives. Many open source ground control interfaces for small drones are available. However, as the number of flying robots increases, their interface rapidly shows some limitation on how the operator can control a swarm. We propose an extension to the open source ground control interface QGround Control for allowing multi robot handling. QGround Control uses the Mavlink communication protocol, which is already used in more than 12 different autopilots. We present here our interface for multi-robot handling. The different features of the interface are start and stop of data login of onboard parameters, switch between different modes, simultaneous automatic takeoff and landing, mission-specific features, start and stop high-level behaviors, setting mission, setting parameters, control of single small drone, manual control of one to multiple small drones, emergency procedure. In order to demonstrate the advantages of our interface, we compared the time needed to deploy a swarm of 10 small drones flying outdoor using three different strategies. The three deployment strategies are, first, manually controlled by the operator one robot after the other, second, sequentially launched and autonomously performed by the robots, finally, simultaneously launched and autonomously performed by the robots. Although the two first strategy can be done by standard ground control interfaces, the last strategy can only be done by our interface. Here is the manual deployment strategy. Here is the threat control deployment strategy. And finally, here is the simultaneous deployment strategy. We see that our interface decreases drastically the deployment time for a swarm of 10 small drones. This extension is freely available at the link below.